what we do not uh, want to see is an incident treated in isolation because uh, then uh, that uh, uh, somewhere uh, does not convey the right picture. Uh, the fact is that uh, we have uh, uh, had an ongoing uh, problem with uh, uh, Canada and the Canadian government for some years now. Uh, and the ongoing problem really uh, uh, revolves around the permissiveness uh, in regard to terrorism, uh, extremism and violence. Uh, and this permissiveness uh, is also reflected in the fact that uh, uh, some uh, important extradition requests have not been uh, responded to from their side. In the fact that uh, there are uh, individuals uh, uh, and organizations uh, uh, who are clearly involved with uh, violence and uh, uh, illegal activities in India, who have themselves declared it. I mean, it is not a secret. Uh, and uh, that uh, they, they continue to, uh, to carry on with their activities in Canada. And, um, and most important, uh, the fact that uh, our diplomatic uh, missions and our diplomatic personnel have been consistently and continuously intimidated in Canada to a point where today it is not uh, safe for them uh, really to, to uh, carry on with their, with their, with their work. I mean, uh, obviously the fact that we have uh, had to, uh, to temporarily suspend our visa operations, I mean, it is not something we would have liked to do. It is just that they have made it very difficult for us to, uh, to operate those services because our personnel are today uh, insecure. We are a democracy. We don't need to learn from other people what freedom of speech is about. But we can tell people this. We don't think freedom of speech extends to incitement to violence. You know, that to us is misuse of freedom. It's not a defense of freedom. And I always ask people one question. How would you react if you were in my shoes? If it was your diplomats, your embassies, your people, what would be your reaction? There is today uh, a climate of violence, an atmosphere of intimidation, activities. I mean, just, just think about it. We've had, you know, smoke bombs thrown uh, at the mission. We've had our consulates, you know, uh, uh, sort of uh, violence in front of them. Individuals have been... Uh, targeted and intimidated. There are posters put up about people. Uh, so, uh, tell me, do you consider this normal? I mean, would, would, I mean, for a moment, okay, this is about us. If this had happened to any other country, how would they react to it? I, I think it's a reasonable question to ask. Let's not normalize what is happening in Canada. You know, what is happening in Canada, had it happened anywhere else? Do you think the world would have taken it with equanimity? If it had happened to any other country, would they have taken it, uh, you know, so calmly? So, I, I think, you know, it's necessary to, to call out what, what is happening there. And our point is this, look, uh, I mean, there may be uh, an individual incident. Yes, if there is an incident and the, there is an investigation and there are allegations, uh, you know, there are processes involved in it. I mean, nobody is disputing that. Our, our issue is to, to somehow say that what, is, what else is happening is par for the course. That, you know, it's quite okay for freedom, because there's freedom of speech, to make threats and intimidate diplomats. I don't think that's acceptable. My understanding is the word used by the Canadians is allegation. So, uh, you know, uh, you used a different word. Uh, I think the word they used was allegation. So, you know, I've, I've already, uh, I think, answered it uh, starting with Lalit, which is, we've always said that, look, if there is information, let us know. So, uh, you know, our doors, I want to make one thing very clear. It's not that our doors are shut to looking at something. If, if uh, there is a requirement for us to look at something, we are open to looking at it. But, you know, I then expect 
you know, somewhere, uh, some pointer, something for me to look at. Dekhe, jo, uh, ek to, jo Sikh community jo hai, uh, agar unke aap, aap hi khud jante hai, ki pichle das saal mein, unke jo mudde jo hai, unke vishay, aap jante hai ki pahle wo blacklist ki charcha hoti thi, और बहुत सारे लोग थे जिनको लगता था कि वो खुद अपने देश जा नहीं पा रहे अब उनके इतने सारे मुद्दे जो हैं कुछ कुछ जो हैं कौम के मुद्दे हैं कुछ व्यक्तिगत मुद्दे हैं तो उन पे मोदी सरकार ने जितना समय बिताया है जितना ध्यान दिया है जितना उसके जो अलग-अलग सुझाव निकाले हैं आप भी जानते हैं मैं भी जानता हूं अब जो हुआ है और अभी जो चर्चा जो हो रही है ये जो है मैं नहीं मानता कि एक किस्म से पूरे कम्युनिटी के रिप्रेजेंटेटिव इश्यूज हैं ये जो अभी जो जो आतंकवाद की बात करते हैं जो अलगावादी लोग जो हैं जो हिंसा माने जिनके तर्कों में ये हिंसा की बात आती है तो मुझे लगता है कि ये बहुत एक माने छोटी सी माइनॉरिटी है और उनके लिए जो है जो हमारी सरकार जो यहां की सरकार कनाडा की सरकार उनको माने एक किस्म से निष्पक्ष तरीके से देखना चाहिए और जो उनका जो रिस्पांस होगा वो होगा तो आप इसको नहीं लीजिए कि ये कहीं एक पूरे कम्युनिटी का विषय वो 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 उसको माने गलत तरीके से एक किस्म से आप पेश एंड फॉर अ स्टार्ट दैट मींस एंश्योरिंग दैट रूल मेकर्स डू नॉट सब्जुगेट रूल टेकर्स आफ्टर ऑल रूल्स विल वर्क ओनली व्हेन दे अप्लाई इक्वली टू ऑल मिस्टर प्रेसिडेंट वी मस्ट नेवर अगेन allow an injustice like vaccine apartheid to recur. Climate action, too, cannot continue to witness an evasion of historical responsibilities. The power of markets should not be utilized to steer food and energy from the needy to the wealthy. Nor must we countenance that political convenience determines responses to terrorism, extremism, and violence. Similarly, respect for territorial integrity and non-interference in internal affairs cannot be exercises in cherry-picking. When reality departs from the rhetoric, we must have the courage to call it out. Without genuine solidarity, there can never be real trust. This is very much the sentiment of the Global South. Next year,